Hello everyone. Uh, Alright, I'm going to put together a relatively quick video for people to figure out how to load custom routes onto the new V550. Uh, this is specifically important for those of us that bought the new V550 for motorcycle riding um, because we like to create our own custom routes and have the GPS follow those rather than just taking the typical uh, A to B approach. Um, so to do this, specifically with the new V550, you need to purchase two additional items that it does not come with in the typical retail box. Um, the two items that you need is a micro SD card and a mini, or, uh, yes, a mini USB to USB wire uh, to connect your Garmin GPS unit to your computer. Okay, so I'm going to show you both those relatively quickly here. Um, the first one is the wire. Um, so basically, it's again a micro USB to USB 2.0 uh, wire. Uh, you can find these in Staples, Radio Shack, probably anywhere at this point. They should be anywhere between the range of 10 to $20, depending on the length that you need. Um, and then the other thing that you need is a micro SD card. Um, these come in all sorts of uh, different um, sizes, um, but in doing my research with Garmin, the largest size that the new V550 can take is 16 gigabytes, which is actually pretty big. Um, but the SD card actually goes in the inside, so when you take off the back cover, um, you're going to take out the battery, and then the SD card slot is right in here. And basically, um, I'm going to take mine out here so that you can see it. Um, so this is a 16 uh, gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. Um, and you just take the uh, little computer components of it and face it downward when you're putting it into into the unit. So you just put it into the slot and push it until you hear a click and it should seat itself. And then you can go ahead and put back the battery on your newbie. Okay. And we're going to be using this later, but for now uh, you could just leave it as is. Okay. Um, so basically in order to create um, routes on your new V550, you need to download uh, the Garmin Basecamp software. You can get this um, right off Garmin's website, and this is used to import or create your own routes um, and then uh, push them to your GPS unit. Um, this has taken the place of map source. Um, so if you're doing research on your own and you see people use the term map source, which they may have used only a year ago, if not you know sooner than that. Um, this is relatively new software that uh, Garmin has used. So just download Basecamp. Um, when you're upload or when you get your new V550, uh, if you bought it new, uh, Garmin guarantees a free map update or map updates uh, within 90 days of first activation. So as soon as you turn on the GPS unit, you have 90 days to download new maps. Um, when you when you go through that whole process, um, which you're going to go through via the website my.garmin.com. Um, when you're downloading the maps, one of the options is going to be to download the maps to your computer and uh, your GPS unit. Um, you don't have to. You could download it directly to your computer or you could uh, download it directly to your GPS. I, s I like to do both because that way I can use this Basecamp software um, on my computer when my GPS is not plugged in. So if I leave it down uh, on my motorcycle, I don't have to go grab it to create a route. Um, I could just do it directly on my computer because they both have the same maps on, on them. So when I create a map or a route on my computer, it'll easily transfer uh, to the new V without any issues. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up Basecamp. And if you haven't used Basecamp before, I recommend watching Garmin's tutorials. It's not the easiest software to use. Uh, I'm still learning it myself, but nonetheless, this is how you do it. Um, if you don't have the Garmin plugged in, um, like I don't, but you do have the maps installed to your directly to your computer, what you're going to see here is um, on the top right, you should see the map that you're uh, currently using. For me, I'm using the City Navigator North America map, uh, the 2012 version, which is the latest version. Um, so once you're in here, you have two options. One you can create your own route, which again, uh, you can do. It's a little bit of a laborious task. Um, well, not, not too laborious, but I think it will take some practice to get very proficient uh, in it. 
or what you can do is you can import uh, GPX files, .gpx files. And that's what I'm going to do today because it'll just make this video a little bit faster. So to do that, to import, you're just going to go to File, Import. And then you're just going to navigate um, directly to the folder and the GPX file. So here you'll see um, I have one for Bear Mountain um, Route 1 gpx and you're just going to double click it and you'll see immediately uh, Garmin Basecamp reads it um, and you'll see this whole blue path um, so basically um, this is the route that the .gpx is uh, you know has taken me through um, and basically what I want to do is take the gpx which I downloaded you know off a forum and push it to my new v550 so Again, you can either do this by importing your own, uh, importing a GPX file, or um, you can use this tool that says, uh, you know, uh, file new, and you can do uh, a new route, and then you can kind of create your own route. But I'm just going to do it the easy way, um, and just import this one. So to do it, all I'm going to do is, um, you'll notice right now on the left navigation bar, the only thing that's available is. Um, is my collection and a few um, lists that I created. So if I click on my, uh, my collection you'll see all of my stuff. Um, but basically uh, I'm just on the Bear Mountain one at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, my micro, I'm sorry, yeah, no my mini, um, my mini USB cord and plug it into um, the Garmin, the back of it. Again, the Garmin is not turned on right now. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. So, um, just give me one second. I'm going to plug it in and put this down. Okay, so, um, again, plug it in. Immediately after you plug it in, you'll see that Garmin um, starts, starts going. It'll make some noise. Um, probably tell you that it's loading maps and all that. And then uh, the screen itself should give this um, interesting kind of computer prompt and you can see kind of a status bar going through. This just mean that it's uh, it's connecting to the computer itself. Um, so once that green bar goes away you know that it's basically done connecting um, and then you should kind of go back to um, uh, to base camp and you'll see all of a sudden without any additional work um, you'll see that the new V550 um, comes up as a device in base camp. And this is really what you need to have happen in order to um, take your route that's on your computer and push it to your new V. Okay, so um, once you do this, all you have to do is um, find the route that you want to take and transfer to the new V. So right here is the route I want, which is the Bear Mountain uh, Route One. And there's a couple ways to do this, but all I have, to, all I'm going to do is right-click it and go to um, Send to. And then when I say send to, uh, there's a couple options, but for me, I'm going to just send it to my memory card, because I know my memory card has a ton of space. So under the new V550, I'm just going to select memory card, and then I'm going to press the OK button. Okay. Um, after that, you'll see that there's a little status bar right here. Um, it's going to go real quickly because it's pretty fast, but I guess if it's, if it's a really, really big route, it might take a little bit of time, but just make sure it's done. It, it probably has a little checkbox saying it's done. Um, you can click on the memory card to see all the stuff that's in it itself. So I have a couple things in there. Um, but you can see that the Bear Mountain Route 1 is now on the memory card. Uh, and that's it. Um, well, that's it for getting it to the Garmin uh, new V550. We now have to actually um, make sure it it's loaded. So what you're going to do now is just go ahead and just unplug the GPS unit. Okay. So immediately after unplugging it, just give it a second, it'll recognize that it's been unplugged and then it'll start up like like it wants to be used. So it's going to load the maps and all that stuff. Just just like normal. Okay. Okay. So these are the steps that you're going to take um, to load the custom route that you just pushed to your SD card to the internal memory of the new V550. And to do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to Tools, 
and you're going to go, you're going to navigate down, just one arrow, and you're going to see a button that says My Data. You're going to click My Data, and you're going to see one of the options that say Import Route from File, and that's exactly what you want to do. So you're going to click on that, it's going to search for all the custom routes on the SD card, and you can see there, um, one of the options is that Bear Mountain Route 1. Okay. So you're just going to select that and press import. Okay, after you press import, this uh, could take really fast or it could take a couple, you know, a minute or so, depending on how big it is. But basically, you should get that prompt that says data was in, uh, imported successfully. Okay, you have now just taken the file from your SD card and pushed it to the new V550. The new V550 itself can only hold, I think they say like 10 routes. I'm not sure um, exactly how many can hold, but nonetheless, it's not a big deal because if you have to delete some to make room, all you do is press delete custom routes. And these are just the routes that are loaded to the new V uh, memory itself. So you can go ahead, select them all, and press delete to make room. And then all you have to do again is just import the route from a file again. And you'll see... Uh, no, again, I'm inside, so it's not finding... It's not finding satellites. So again, if I wanted all my uh, routes loaded, just select them all, import them. Turn left on Montclair Avenue. Sorry about that. So you can see when you're importing multiple uh, routes, it may take a little bit of time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long here because uh, we're on camera. No, let, me, let me cancel. Let me just do the one. Okay, so now that you've imported the, um, the route, what you're going to do now is say, hey, I want to navigate to it. So you're going to go all the way back to the main screen, and you're going to go where to, and you're going to scroll down one, you're going to scroll down two, and you're going to click on the button that says custom routes. And you'll see um, Bear Mountain Route 1 is one of the ones I want to go to. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to tell me, okay, it's a... You know, it's about a six-hour ride, uh, almost 300 miles. It's pretty big. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and press go. Now, when you say go, um, it's going to give you this option that says, would you like to nav navigate to the start of the custom route? Um, basically, if you press no, um, it's going to expect that you drive yourself to the start. Now, this could be good if you know where the start is, but if you don't, um, you're going to press yes and it'll navigate you to the start of the route just like a normal GPS would. So it's just going to go A to B. Once you get to the start, then it's going to turn on your custom route and start following it. So normally I would I would say that you're probably going to press yes, but if you really know where you're going, you could press no. You're going to press yes. And uh and that's all there is to it. Um it's basically going to calculate to the start of that route, um which mine is doing now. And then once you get to the start of the route, it'll follow it to a T. Um, Turn left on Union Avenue. Uh, and that's about it. Um, now, one of the things, the importing the route is the really important thing. If you never imported the routes, I'll show you what will happen. Um, so let's say we go back to our tools menu, and we delete all of our routes, right? So we go to my data, and we delete the custom routes, right? So we delete this one. So let's say you went ahead, you went into map source, I'm sorry, not map source, base camp, and you copied it to your SD card, and immediately the only thing you did was say, where to? I want to go to my custom route, right? It's not going to find any. It's going to give you this prompt, no custom routes available. And you're going to start going crazy because you're going to be like, well, I uploaded one to the SD card, blah, 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 blah. That's why you have to follow that step beforehand to load from the SD card to the internal memory. Again, you just scroll down to my data, import route from file, find it, and import it. Once you do that, you'll be able to find it in the custom routes uh, navigation option. Okay, so um, that's just a really quick view. Um, again, I'm not going to give any kind of tutorial on how to use Basecamp itself to make a, a route, um, but I think you can figure it out if you had enough time. <laughs> um, if you have any other questions, let me know.